Hello, I'm Jake and I'm here to interview my local sporting hero, Glenn Cinnamon. Hello. <laughs> Where did you grow up when you were young? Uh, I was farming lad. Whenever I was young I grew up in Pomeroy, a big village. Uh, and that's basically it. Hey? What was your childhood like? Normal childhood, hey? very, very happy. Uh, uh, just usual, you know, agricultural stuff. Playing about the fields, um, running off the cattle, usual, you know. Most influential childhood experience, and how did it mould your future? Well, it was sort of it's two parts of that sort of question. I lost me far very young, so that would have been a major thing. Like, but uh, but you know, a lot of it's down to me more. Me more moulded my future a lot. You know, she was. Both parents and a very strong woman, so that sort of moulded me. Like, what age did you start playing rugby at? Well, I started playing rugby when I was fourteen, and just usual youth setup. So that with the high school, you know. Who inspired you to get involved in rugby, and is this person still an influence? Um, the person that got me into rugby was a friend of mine, Al Miller. He, he says to me. Uh, at school one time, come down and give this a, a shot and then didn't really know much about it to be honest but uh, went down and there was a teacher from the academy, was great coach, coaches, mainly coaches basketball, fin Fenton Colgan and he was the one that showed a bit of time and taught me a bit about the game and got me into it and then I ended up just falling for it, you know what I mean, so mm -hmm. that was it. Have you always played for Dungannon? I have. I'm very proud of that, to be honest, because there's many a person would jump clubs and different things, and and years gone by went for a bit of a paycheck in different clubs, but I've managed to stay loyal, and the club's played loyal to me. So I heard you once competed in Canada. Who did you play against? What was the outcome, and how did this become possible? Well, uh, really, this in. In club rugby in Ireland, a lot of the clubs do it. It's it's a tour, and it's sort of half jolly up, half usually preparation for pre-season training and get a lot of game minutes under your belt and stuff like that. And we played in Toronto, and we played Toronto Thunder. There, it wasn't you know great standard of rugby, but it, we got what we got out of it and got a bit of a jolly up and built. A lot of friendships and the club, the team, and all at that stage, you know. Have you been able to tour any other countries? Well, go about uh, six or seven years ago, we went to America, and New York, and New Jersey, and Boston. We took in a week and played two teams there. Don't ask me to repeat their their names of the teams because over there it's something Raiders or whatever, you know. So, Ak, we got. Two wins and got what we needed out of that. Like so. Have you yeah. ever had any injuries, any serious? And if so, how long were you out for? Well, no, I've been very lucky with injury. I've only really ever cracked a bone in my ankle, and due to against medical thing, I was back and playing within three weeks. You know. Who was the best player you played against, and why? The best player I played against uh, was whenever I got the honour of. Uh, playing for Ulster A and I played against Paul O'Connell. He was a mountain of a man and a very, very strong man. I mean, uh, got into a rock and went to hit the rock and just was like running into a brick wall. He was a very, very strong man. Um, who have you played with? Who's the best player you played with? I would I think it's very hard to answer that because Dungan was blessed with a lot of talent, but... Um, me personally, I would think, and I played me and him similar age. But the best player I would have played with would have been Stephen Ferris. You know, so he was a very explosive player. Are you still playing rugby? I still am. I don't know if that's down to my stupidity or their stupidity because they keep picking me. But I'm still playing. How long, now. How long do you reckon you can play competitively? Well, uh, I'm going to see see out the rest of this season and. That's a million dollar question. I'll see you after that. Uh, I'm 36 now, 
So if I go to 37, I'll see. But I say I'll always have a hand in. I'll be one of them old boys playing threes and fours rugby, a bit of social rugby. So mm-hmm. that's handy quit, not so easy started again. So. What's your most memorable sporting moment? Well, there's a few, but uh, um, most memorable sporting moment, and it's for a bit of a tragic re- um, thing, was that uh, the last game Nevin Spence ever played, I play, I was on the bench for the Ulster Ravens, and I met the fella that week for the first time, and uh, um, like everybody knows what he was going to be and uh, he, he turned around and he walked up and he says hello and my nickname in rugby is Sine. he says hello Sine. Um I'm Nevin and all always, always stuck in my head for that man to think that he had to introduce himself because he was just such a good player such a good player Do you think sport has helped you make better choices in life? Mm, well I say so you know like uh, whenever you'd be young, you, you discover nightclubs, all the rest that goes with it and all. And like f- from I was 14, I was training at least once a week and uh, every Saturday playing a game. So it's bound to do you good somehow. Like. Finally, what advice would you give to some a young person who aspires to do well in sport? Um, my only f- on a rugby point of view, my main advice would be nothing comes in a day and you're not owed nothing and work very hard at it because I've seen over the few years a lot of young fellas coming out of school and if they don't make the first team in the first year they're away to lower level clubs or they're giving up or whatever I would give tell any young player starting rugby that it's a work in progress and just uh, put the work in and what you put into it you'll get out of it you know that sort of way all right, thank you. No bar at all,